not that long ago in a galaxy far, far away. No, I'm just kidding. It was, it was here on Earth that I uh, got into fountain pens. When I first started fountain pens, I was using steel nibs. You know, it was the most cost effective in my opinion. And then I started reading about gold nibs. I started looking around and I found this one pen that ended up being my first gold nib. And it's in this box. This isn't the pen, this is a different pen. But this box, and that is the Platinum 3776 Century Fountain Pen. So the 3776 Century was my first ever gold nibbed fountain pen. I'm gonna be showing you the same version actually of the pen that I got, which is the Chartres Blue. So let me go ahead and take it out of the box. It actually has a cover over it and kind of a plain black box that has the platinum logo on the front. Open it up and there's your pen. Pretty simple, right? Let's see what's underneath this false bottom. Got a, an ink cartridge, a warranty card, it's always good, and the user manual. That's exciting stuff. All right, so I'm sliding the pen out now and it comes in this, what Roy likes to call a plastic body bag. <laughs> that just cracks me up. And it has a tag on it right here. It's in Japanese, but whatever. And we have your Platinum Century 3776 Chartres Blue. And it is called Chartres because it is inspired by the stained glass of the Chartres Cathedral located in France. I can't remember which city it was located in though. I have to look that up. Don't judge me. Platinum has actually been around for a long time. They were founded in 1919. In fact, this very pen, the Century, was released in 1978 and it's been going strong ever since. It's a classic design. It's one of my personal favorites, even to this day, after having, you know, several of these. I mean, I've got just about every color they offer in this pen, plus the, the Nice series, you know, and they're all based on different things in France. Why I got this pen, what is so different about it is the nib. And I've got the, the music nib. It's a little unusual compared to the usual nibs. And the reason for that is because it has three times. So this is something, a nib I've never tried before. The only music nib I have in my collection is the Tasha music nib, and it only has two times. This one I wanted to track says three times. So I wanted to see, you know, maybe the ink flows. I mean, my Tasha nib is really juicy. I mean, it is juicy, but I want to see what three times, you know, is that really juicy too or what? But the design is very simple. The band around the bottom of it says Platinum Century. It's etched in there. The clip, uh, yeah, it could totally clip onto whatever you want. I like the material because it's somewhat transparent and you can look at it in the light and see the nib through there, which I think is so cool. There's just something about a demonstrator that I really love. If you look closely, you can even see inside the barrel. So the cap does post, it's a friction fit cap. And this isn't a super large pen. In fact, it's, I would have to say it's probably close to the Pelican M600, maybe slightly smaller. I wish I had pulled out an M600 to compare it with, but I don't have one on hand. But for those with large hands, this would be a small pen for you. But for hands like mine, which I guess I have average women's hands. I don't know, I mean, they're not man hands, I guess, but it fits perfectly in my hand. Well, this one actually came with a converter. And when you purchase this pen, be sure to check and see if the company that you purchase it from or this, this retailer that you purchase it from, if it comes with a converter or not. Because if it doesn't, you'll be left using the cartridge and you won't be able to pick whatever ink you want to use with it. And that could be a bummer. You know, especially if, you know, you bought an ink to specifically, if you bought an ink to specifically go with this pen and you can't use it, you're gonna be a little upset. This nib is, it's intentionally, or it was created for those who write music. And that's what these, you know, the, the wet nib 
and the, the wideness of it is intended for writing of music notes. So that way you can make uh, thin lines or big pools of, you know, ink to make, you know, part of the musical note and stuff like that. Now, I mean, I don't write music and I don't even play an instrument. I mean, I did as a, in junior high, but I do play a main kazoo. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> From what I understand, the music nib performs like a soft stub nib. So if you like writing with a stub nib, this might be for you. Well, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink this pen up and let's see how she writes. Thank you so much for joining me for this look at the Platinum 3776 Century in Chartres Blue. You know, this pen doesn't let me down every time I use it. I just remember how much I love this pen and how I fell in love with it for the first time when I was first new to fountain pens, it being my first gold nib and stuff like that. It just brings back a lot of... It does write very nicely and it performed like a nice stub nib and I appreciate that very much. I thought it did really well and I'm happy with it. I, would, I wouldn't I mind getting another color, um, you know, whatever they offer the music nib with or if I could just like cannibalize the music nib and put it in another pen, that'd be kind of cool too. I am pretty, pretty damn happy with it. Another thing, you know, I forgot to mention about this pen is there is a slip and seal mechanism inside the cap. And that way when, I mean, they claim if you have this pen inked and you keep that cap on, you can go months and you won't come in to a hard start with this pen. I personally haven't tried that yet. I might, I might do that as an experiment. I'll keep you posted. The pen is very lightweight, which I do like, and I probably mentioned that before. Um, it is great if you do lots of long writing sessions, lots of long journaling, or if you are like a student at school, it will be nice and light for long writing sessions. The only thing that might set you back is the converter. It, it holds a standard amount of ink as much as a converter can. It's not as little as like a pilot that hardly holds anything. I'm talking about the pilot vanishing point. Um, that converter holds like maybe two drops of ink. Be prepared for that. You might want to have, um, you know, just a, an extra little ink vial to carry around with you for that. But otherwise, I mean, it's a great pen. 
I think the cost isn't horrible. It depends on really where you buy this pen at because they sell it everywhere. I've seen it on Amazon. In fact, that's where I bought my first uh, platinum pen was on Amazon. I, I think I got it for under a hundred bucks. That's why I took the plunge. I was like, ooh, boy, I'm stepping into some scary pen territory here, spending more than 50 bucks on a pen. You can find it at retailers such as Pen Chalet, Gold Spot, um, Farney's, um, Pen Boutique, Goulet, I mean, all of them, Baness. They all have them and they're all like different prices. Over at Pen Chalet, just to give you an idea, the MSRP of the Platinum Century is $220 and they sell it as low as $176. And then of course you can, I'll show you the puppies in a second, stay tuned, just hang on. Um, so if you could tap on a discount code with, uh, on top of the 176, I mean, you know, you can, get a pretty decent pen for under 200 bucks with a gold nib. So that's one of the things I love about Japanese pens is, I mean, I'm not talking about when you jump into like the Urishi rating area of fountain pen usage. I'm talking about like your everyday writers. You really get a good value, 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold nibbed pen. Here are the puppies that you're always hearing. They are just over three months now. And yes, they are from the same litter. This is Chloe. And she is, this, she was the only girl out of five. So we have two out of the, the five. And this is Pip. And we named him Pip because he's the runt. And we named him Pip because he's a pip squeak. When you hear some of the puppies crying in the background, these are the little guys that you're hearing. Aren't they adorable? Yes, I love you. He just pushed me away. <laughs> Well, that's all I have to say about that. Thank you so much once again for joining me. And that's how the ink flows.